got my seventh grade advanced class. Let's go to work to use. I got the odd ones. It says solve the system for equations using elimination. So the first part, it says multiply the first equation by. We're going to take this first equation and make one of the variables, since <clears throat> one of the coefficients, I should say, of the variable, since they're the same, the opposite. So I'm going to multiply it to negative 1. This is going to go ahead and turn uh, 2x to negative 2x, negative 2y to positive 2y, and negative 4 to positive 4. It changes it to all the opposite sides. Now we put this line underneath it, and we combine our like terms. 2x minus 2x without 0, so we don't have nothing here. 3y plus y, or 2y plus y is 3y. And 4 plus 11 is 15. And now remember, we have to divide by 3 to both sides, and 15 divided by 3, that's going to give us 5. Well, now we know that y is 5, and we need to go ahead and plug in for x, okay, or for y. We know y is 5, so over here on the equation 2x plus y equals 11, I'm going to replace y with 5. <coughs> Now we're going to combine like terms. We're going to do this by minusing 5 from here, minusing 5 from here. 11 minus 5 is 6. And then we divide both sides by 2 to isolate my variable. That's going to give me 3, so x is 3. All right. Uh, you have number 8. I'll take number 9. 9 says, if you add Natalie's age to Frankie's age, the result is 44. So that would mean that Natalie's age plus Frankie's age equals 44. And if you add Frankie's age to three times Natalie's age, so we're taking Natalie's age and multiplying it to three. And if we, says if we add Frankie's age, so we're adding F to that, <clears throat> then you're going to get 70. Uh, write and solve a system of equations using elimination. Using elimination, I see I have F on the top and bottom. So I'm going to multiply this top one to negative 1. All right, that's going to change all the signs to the opposite. Now we're going to have, uh, let's see, negative n. And you know what? <clears throat> I'm just going to do something here real quick. I'm going to take this one and put it on top because I see that I'm going to have bigger numbers here. So 3n. It doesn't matter which one's on top or bottom because we're going to get uh, combining the same like terms. Okay. Uh, 3n plus f equals 70. Well, here we have negative 1 times n, so that's a negative n. Uh, negative 1 times positive f would be negative f. <coughs> And that's going to equal a negative 44. Okay. And now when I put my line across here, I see 3n minus n is 2n. F minus F is 0, so I'm not going to put that down. And 70 minus 44, that's going to give me 26. Now I have to divide by 2 to get m by itself. So. 26 divided by 2 is 13. So n equals 13. Put it over here. n equals 13. 
Now I have to figure out what f is. Well, <clears throat> remember, my first one is n plus f equals 44. So 13 plus f equals 44. When I get f by itself, I have to subtract 13 from both sides to do that. f is going to equal 31. Okay, so uh, they're talking about their ages. Natalie is 13 and Frankie is 31. <clears throat> All right, let's go to number 11. Number 11 says at a basketball game, a team made 56 successful shots. Okay. Um, and now is a good time to go ahead and throw in a cold word. Haven't done it in a while. So here's your cold word. All right, authentic casino played cards. All right, write that down as your code word and you'll get a treat. Uh, you'll collect a treat for me when I go ahead and pass back your homework with it on it. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that off now. All right, and let's proceed on. Um, it says at a basketball game, Team made 56 successful shots. They were a combined or combination of one and two point shots. The team scored 94 points in all. So over here you can see that one point shots, right? And two point shots. The number of shots that these people made were two points. The number of shots these people made were one point. And together that equaled 94 points. It says, uh, at a basketball game, the team made 56 successful shots, all right? A team, all right? And what they're wondering is um, they're a combination of one, two-point shots. So we know one-point shots and two-point shots made 56 successful shots, okay? <clears throat> so now we have our two systems of equation. I'm going to eliminate my top one here by multiplying everything to negative one. When I do this, and I'm just going to bring my answer down here, okay, I'm going to get a negative one with an x, that'll make a negative x, a negative one with a y, that'll make a negative y, and a negative one with a 56, that'll be a negative 56. So x minus x is 0, 2y minus y is y, 94 minus 56, <clears throat> that's going to give me uh, 38. Now that I know uh, there were 38 shots that were <clears throat> two-point shots, right? Uh, but remember, I can put this in either one of the formulas, so I'm going to put in the top one. Uh, X is going to be added to 38. Putting that in place of Y, right? That has to equal 56. I'm going to subtract 38 from both sides. X comes down. And that's going to be an 8. And I had to borrow one. So four minus three is one. So X has to be 18. So <clears throat> um, there are 18 one point shots and 38 two point shots. 
Okay. Write that down here. Um, 18 one point shots. And 38 two point shots. All right. And I'll just put uh, number two, so number one, so it doesn't look so weird. All right. <coughs> Going on to number 13 now. <clears throat> says a deli offers two platters of sandwiches. Platter A has two roast, uh, two roast beef sandwiches and three turkey sandwiches. Platter B has three roast beef sandwiches and two turkey sandwiches. Make a system of equations to represent the situation. Okay. So um, in platter A. <clears throat> We know that the roast beef sandwiches were two, so we know that two R's, uh, let's see, plus three T's, right? Three turkey sandwiches. So two roast beef sandwiches plus two, three turkey sandwiches, they're going to equal $31. <clears throat> Platter B. We've got um, three roast beef sandwiches plus two turkey sandwiches. Uh, and that equals $29. <clears throat> now we have to figure out how we're going to get rid of one of these, OK? To do this, we're going to have to get uh, one of these the same. So I'm going to concentrate on my R, the roast beef. I'm going to multiply the first one by three. And I'm going to multiply the second one by negative two. Here's why I know that three times two will give me six R. I know negative two times three will give me negative six R. And that will allow me to eliminate them. So I'm going to rewrite my equations over here. But this, these two were the two systems of equation uh, to use. Uh, they would have been, uh, I guess I should do that work down here then. These were the two systems of equation. And now I'm going to rewrite them down here. <coughs> <coughs> We're going to multiply the top one by three. Okay. That's going to give me three times two R six R. Um, three times three T be plus 90 and 3 times 31 would be 93. Okay, now we're going to do the second one. We're multiplying the second one by negative 2. You see over here, we've got uh, two times negative three R, that would be a negative six R. We have negative two times a positive two T, that would give us a negative four T. And then we got negative two times 29, that would give us a negative 58. Right now we have our two equations that we can go ahead and match up. 
Uh, 93 minus 58 we'll do first. I'll have to borrow one from my 9. Take 13 minus 8, that's going to be 5. And 8 minus 5 is 3. Then 9t minus 4t, that's 5t. I have to divide 5 away from 5t to get t by itself. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So that means the turkey sandwiches are 7 bucks. All right. Um, now let's try to find the cost of the roast beef. We can use either one of these formulas here. I think I'm going to use <clears throat> the top one here. Oh, uh, no, in fact, I'll use the bottom one. Uh, we have 3R plus 2T. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 2 times 7. Uh, we know this is going to give us 3R plus 14 equals 29 because we know 2 times 7 is 14. Next, we're going to subtract 14 from both sides because they're like terms. That's going to give us 3R equals, uh, let's see, looks like 15. When I divide 3 away from R, so I have to divide it by the other side, and R is going to equal 5. So the roast beef sandwiches are 5 bucks. And the turkey sandwich cost uh, seven bucks. All right, I'm uh, scrolling down. Number 14 years, looks like number 15 is my last one. <clears throat> Determine the number of solutions for this system. I can see that I'm going to have to multiply this top one by seven to get the same number here. So let's try that. <clears throat> seven times three X would be 21 X. Seven times four Y will be plus 28 Y. And 7 times 17. Well, 7 times 7 is 49. And 7 times 7 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 1. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see, this is 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? So this is going to be okay. It looks like we have the same slope here. We don't have the same y-intercept. So there will be no solutions for this from what I see. Okay. That's all the homework for tonight. Hope that helped. <clears throat> Good luck with your side of it, and I'll see you across tomorrow.